From the moment I was born, the Department of Orthopedics and the operating table have been a second home to me. Born with right spastic hemiplegia, cerebral palsy, I required many procedures to correct issues with my right leg. In fact, my most recent and final procedure was this past August. It was a complete success. And the key point is that I never let it stop me. In fact, it served as a catalyst because it, is, because it is my intention to become a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. And the key point to that is don't let anything stop you. We're going to face many hardships and obstacles in our lives but if you take faith in the fact that if you believe in yourself, there is nothing that can stop you. Believing in yourself is the key to being personally effective, and that is the key to success. Let me share with you another story. At this very moment, right now, I am homeless. I do not have a home. Homelessness and poverty are often seen as the two big obstacles that will prevent anybody from achieving their dreams. But I'm here to tell you otherwise. Before becoming homeless, I remember living a pretty normal life. But then I remember coming home from school, stuff was slowly getting packed away, the TV disappeared, the bed was dissembled, I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor. All of a sudden, I find myself in a five-by-five five box. Security guards rummaging through our things whenever we came in. Security guards bursting into our room in the middle of the night with flashlights. Fist fights in the hallways during my first weeks of being in the shelter. It was a very big shock to me. And the biggest obstacle was education. I had a gigantic stack of books and a laptop. That's a red flag to the security at the shelter. So I had to modify what I did, my strategies for achieving. And I did even more than that. I decided to take virtual school classes, and I put myself two grade levels ahead in math and science. That was two and a half years ago. Unfortunately, as of June of last year, I'm in my second round of homelessness. But the thing is, it's really about your attitude and outlook, as you can see. This past summer, I wanted to take some college classes at Miami-Dade College. Now, I live in Homestead, so logically, I would take these classes at the Homestead campus. But they weren't offered there. So I made the bold and completely voluntary decision to take them at Miami-Dade College Wolfson, downtown Miami, 40 miles away. Bear in mind that I was homeless, so I took the bus and the train five days a week. I woke up at 4 a.m., didn't get home until 10 to 11 some nights. I also took some virtual school classes to fulfill graduation requirements. It was a very tiring, exhausting experience, but an exhilarating one. And it proved that I have the resolve and the belief in myself that nothing can stop me. So, where am I now? Well, here I stand with 72 college credits. That's more than an associate's degree, and I'm still a high school student. Here I stand, one of nine students selected to attend Colorado College on a full ride scholarship as a Questbridge Scholar. <laughs> Here I stand, taking organic chemistry too, a phenomenal achievement for a high school student. And here I stand, the first high school student to be invited to participate in undergraduate research at the Homestead campus of Miami-Dade College.
What I've done is extraordinary, but I always say at the same time it isn't. And I say that because I know I have the power to do extraordinary things. I know there's nothing that can stop me. But that isn't unique to me because you have that power too. You have the power to do unimaginably great things. It really is all about believing in yourself and your capabilities. So the key point I want to drive here is explore the possibilities, chase your dreams, kindle your passions, and always know that no matter the circumstances, you can and will always find the path to new heights of achievement. Thank you.